Hello, fellow listeners, and welcome back to Species Spotlight. This week's topic, I wanted to talk about an animal you mostly will hear at night and up in the trees, the gray tree frog. Gray tree frogs are found across the eastern United States, from Florida and central Texas all the way to parts of Canada. They are mainly an arboreal species, meaning they live in and amongst trees. Wooded habitats such as forests, swamps, and even backyards are places where you may find gray tree frog populations. Adult male gray tree frogs are around one and a half to two inches in length, and the females are typically a little bit larger. For such a small frog, they can live up to nine years in the wild. Gray tree frog's scientific name is Hyla versicolor, which in Latin means variable color. They are named after their ability to change their skin color based on the time of day, their surroundings, and the temperature outside. The gray tree frog's color changes in response to its environment and activities and can range from a green to gray or brown. The upper surface of the body has a blotchy pattern that resembles lichen. Although the pattern varies, it usually features two dark central patches, which can be green, buff, or gray. As a nocturnal species, gray tree frogs search for food in trees, where they can climb vertically or move horizontally with specially adapted toe pads. Adult gray tree frogs mainly feed on mites, spiders, plant lice, snails, and slugs, while also occasionally eating smaller frogs, including other tree frogs. During the day, they tend to rest in tree cavities, underneath loose bark, inside rotting logs, and under leaves and tree roots. While it isn't easy to find them due to their size and hiding spots, they are easily identified by the male's loud vocal calls. Males will emit a musical call right after dusk for up to four hours. Male gray tree frogs use the call to establish a breeding territory and to find a mate. A male begins its mating call in early spring, shortly after emerging from hibernation. Males call to females from trees and bushes that are usually close to streams, ponds, or standing water. The exact timing of breeding for gray tree frogs varies based on temperature and their location throughout the range. Most reproduction takes place early on, although calling season lasts from late April to August. Individuals may mate up to three times in a season, which is why you might hear them all summer long. The next time you are outside right after sundown, listen for the gray tree frog calls, and you may be surprised to find them living in your own backyard. Thanks for tuning in.